Welcome back to Let's Play Splinter Cell. I'm Burning Dog Face. And, uh, we're here in Georgia, where things aren't going great. It seems that, uh, our contact's dead, the two agents we were sent to find are dead, and, uh, things aren't going great. I think I said that already. Yes. Um, we need to locate a dead drop, as it says at the bottom of the screen where we'll get information about the local police precinct, which I guess is important, because that's where the trackers stopped working. I even looked behind the fridge. Oh, I can actually use this first aid kit, and I have actually taken some damage from that firefight with the guy in the open door. Medical kit picked up. Oh, I just took it! I can use it whenever! That's great! Wait. Why is there a shower curtain if there's no shower? Nobody bathes with the thing pulled out. Like, within the bath, I mean. The thing that hides your nudity in the bath is the fact that you're submerged in water. Thought I would check my emails while I was here. Um... <laughs> oh yes, I wanted to... No... Uh, that one, yeah. Let's do that. Oh, right. Optic cable. Oh god. Oh no! Okay, you can't turn night vision off of this thing. This uh, camera only has night vision mode. And it rolls to the side rather than turning to the side? But it does tell me that the balcony outside this door is completely uninhabited, so there's that. Oh yes, that's right, I need to go up this uh, zip line, which is very uh, helpfully placed. That. Oh, fucking civvies. I mean, I'm a figure, I'm a silhouette in the dark, man. <laughs> How do you know it's not just some asshole having a smoke? What's with all this? Who is that? Oh, well, I can do this again. Wall. Pipes are too close together for that to be the trick. Too much I'm getting jittery. Oh. Uh, no, there's no button up here for me to call the elevator up to that floor. You know what? What if I just do this? Oh. Ah, I land on this thing. Okay. Open trap. Oh, the trap door. Sure, on top of the elevator. Seems okay to me. Fisher, I'm rescinding my street level restriction. We've been monitoring the Tbilisi police radio. Tbilisi. Cops are Tbilisi. As as Virginia fence. They're not going to want any more international attention than we do. Every road is open to you. Do what you got to do to find those missing spooks. I just got permission to kill cops, and I'm starting to think that, uh, I'm a sin-eater, doing the stuff that, uh, nobody wants to think about. Is that graffiti? Yeah. But I can't read it. I should probably switch to my gun, just a thought. Just in case. Oh, actually, this would be a good time to do the other thing. Embarrassing. I have to be right up against the door to do that. Sure, sure, just a narrow ass hallway. I can't look up or down either. 
I mean, they make it look like it's a, just a sneaky wire. You think you could point it in any direction you fucking wanted. Oh, well. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, yeah. Let's see. God, that is such a cool silhouette with a thing on his head. I remember reading an interview once with an Ubisoft guy, and someone asked him about uh, Sam Fisher being a man who needs to stand in the dark, having three glowing dots on his forehead. And the guy said something I thought was very interesting, that... You know, and the glowy light on his, uh... I guess that's the uh, the radio receiver there on his back. Um... And I believe, yeah, there, uh, you, it's hard to tell from this angle, but there is, in fact, that uh, PDA we've been looking at on his uh, inner left uh, forearm. Um, the glows aren't canon, apparently. Like, if there's a canonical, real Sam Fisher, he doesn't have any lights on him. Uh, they explicitly say that the three lights uh, on the night vision goggles are only there to make it look cool because it's a video game. Copy that, Unit 3, but we're dealing with a warehouse fire, so expect delay. Well, something we can pin on Costa. <laughs> Good thinking. I don't like that. There's two guys there, and they're kind of facing each other. But if I stay in the dark... Here's the question. Will they freak out if I shoot out those, uh, those lights right there? Fucking A, man. I can't even see where the light is. Huh, that's funny. Okay, quick load. I guess that spot on the wall is just glowing. Oh, I should probably have the gun ready, just in case. There really isn't a light there. Fuck. Tell you what, let's not take the stairs. Let's go over here in the dark. I have thought myself. Interact object. Oh, a can. I could distract them. I wish I had a idea, any idea how to drop this can. Oh, that's how. You hit the f oh, that guy's dead. Very odd. Oh shit. Oh, oh right, I guess it was uh, better off over here then. Let's drop that can by pressing R. Oh, why did the body move? This is an example of that a good example of that dynamic lighting. Uh, shit. Oh. Oh, it's a, just a liquor bottle. Um. That's not someone coming down the stairs, is it? I was not expecting this to be a dead end. I'm going to try something silly. That might actually be the trick. I heard something Come on out where no, I can feel dead.
Oh, that was sick. We've got a civilian report of a heavily armed man. Doesn't Fuck. Sound like one of our associates. Cerkezi, I want you and your men to check it out. Move, move, move. Put him over here by the trash where he belongs. No! I think I saw something. Ow. Okay, load. Um. Who is that? No. How did that happen? I don't have time to shoot all of those lights before they react. Okay, back up in the dark. Bypass them. Like, I might not actually be dead. There's a liquor bottle sitting next to him. Really glad there's no grip meter here. They must have heard me landing right there. I'll just chill. I think that guy... No, that guy is not a civilian. I thought he had his hands in his pockets. It's probably not my problem. Ah, yes, the era of guards and stealth games who were very unironic about saying things like that. I was also very fond of, uh, must have been the wind. So he's just going to assume the position. I guess they continue to have their guns out. There's someone above me. Oh! Come on. Oh, also... What I want to know is if those guys will hear me if I fire from here with a silenced weapon. Shit. Enemy on I knew I was being greedy, I just... Come on out where I can <laughs> see you! <laughs> That's no good. Tell you what. How about fuck you and the horse you rode in on? Ah! No, they do hear me over there. Shit! That was pretty tight. What? Still breathing? What is this? Why the hell did it jump me back to the beginning? Maybe I pushed the wrong button. Maybe there's a load auto save button. Fucking A, man. This game. Oh, oh! 
Oh, I am actually darker down here, or more hidden, I guess. What? Where the fuck did that guy go? I was gonna wait till he walked by again and then knock him the fuck out. Or... Oh, here he comes. Damn it! Oh, I'm still over here. Great. Alright, I'll just wait till he goes by and then not take care of him. Like a sucker. Oh! Something moving over there. I wasn't fast enough. Heh, <laughs> embarrassing. Oh, that was close. Normally I would take this moment to uh, read a comment or something, but I haven't actually uploaded any of these videos yet. I originally uh, mapped s the start button to pause, because I assumed that would bring up the menu. But uh, they mean, like, the pause key. Like, it stops the game. God damn it. Hell yes! Hell no. I could check the map, but I have absolutely no idea where I am right now. So it won't help to find out where the uh, square is. These guys are cops. They're not wearing uniforms. I can't tell if that guy's a civilian or not, because again, with leather jackets around. Get over here into the dark. There's a laptop in here! On a side note, I actually really, really like, especially for a game from 2002, that rather than just magically toggling it on and off, there's actually an animation of him pushing the goggles onto his eyes. I wonder what happens if I try to do it when I'm hanging from a pipe. What the hell? Oh, moths. Nice! Can I just take that first? Oh, 
Oh no, it's not. It is this. Oh, good. I do have still. A good. I still do have both. Okay. Was expecting some dialogue there. Maybe not. The door code for the precinct basement is five nine two nine. From Thomas Gergenzi to David Tannehill, sent October 16th, 2004, 3.09 a.m. Subject, precinct back door. You can be getting into the police station. You can be getting into? Maybe they're going for the way a uh, person from that country sounds and they speak English. I don't know. Uh, you can be getting into the police station with the keypad, pe Jesus, keypad combination of 5929. This way goes by the back way into the holding cells. You are best for go at night when the drunks are all passed out. Yeah, I think that's what they're doing here. <laughs> I also like that the battery indicator on this PDA is perpetually at 3 out of 4 bars. Fair. I'm gonna put getting things done. Oh, another medical kit! I'm getting spoiled for choice here. I feel like it'll probably heal more than that. There's another one in here, is there? No. What's that? Oh, it's ammo! Nice. From 31 to 51. I like that. But I do believe the timer has just gone. So, uh, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Splinter Cell, when Sam's mission continues and we go and break into a corrupt police station. Boy, it's going to be great. I look forward to it, uh, already. Till then, have yourselves a great day. Later!